from the Kings Lynn News Centre, I'm Emma Carton. One of West Norfolk's biggest schools is severely criticised in a damning report out this morning. Ofsted says the Kings Lynn Academy has inadequate leaders, staff and governors who are failing to support pupils. Marie has a child at the school. She does have problems over there with English, but in their lessons they have a lot of um, substitute teachers, which I don't feel helps children, especially with GCSEs coming up. You know, they need a strong teacher in the lesson, making sure that the lessons carry on one after the other rather than, you know, one do something and then another teacher comes in the following day and they're teaching something completely different. The QE Hospital in Kings Lynn insists it isn't in crisis, despite having no more beds for patients coming to A&E and asking for a £20 million loan from the government. Chief Exec of the Hospital Trust, Dorothy Hussain, has spoken exclusively to KLFM and says the hospital is just under extreme pressure. It's not about crisis. We're in the middle of winter and of course this time of the year a lot of people are sick. There's a lot of respiratory disease out there right now. The weather's damp and you know it's winter um, but uh, it's not about crisis. It's about can we really get the public to help us to help with the numbers coming to the front door. And a man has been arrested on suspicion of impersonating a police officer and holding an offensive weapon in West Norfolk. He was stopped by real officers yesterday afternoon at Three Holes. The suspect allegedly had blue lights added to his car. With your news first, this is KLFM. <laughs>